welcome to or welcome back to back to back to another video. I am Ayana Michelle, Elevated Planner here on YouTube, Etsy, all my social media platforms, and on this page, this channel, all the things. I am just on my financial journey to uh to be debt free while still maintaining and living my best life so we're doing cash envelope stuffings budgeting savings challenges all the things if any of that interests you i hope you stick around i hope you hit that subscribe button turn on your post notification and be notified every single time that i upload and of course interact with me and talk to me because i love to chit chat and talk back with you guys it really helps keep me motivated and i know we can help keep each other motivated and be accountability partners for each other so if that's your thing if that's your vibe welcome <laughs> so in today's video i am going through two more binders so i had some stuff come in the mail so i have some happy mail that i'm super duper excited to show you guys so the first one that i have here is going to be my business binder and i got this from lily budgets on etsy um i was trying to support uh a new not necessarily new new to me i don't necessarily know how long she's been on etsy but new to me <laughs> uh uh business on etsy and i bought some envelopes so she did give me some freebies so i got these two cute little stickers here as well as she has um a card and then i think this one's the thank you card yeah so it is super duper cute i'm like obsessed with it and then she also threw in these two placeholders so i have a 1000 and a 500 dollar placeholder that i will hopefully pray to be able to use eventually <laughs> in one of my envelopes and stuff so i'm going to move the stickers to the side set the placeholders back here and we're going to get in it so this is going to be my business binder i think when i last in my last video i told you guys i wasn't too sure when i was going to launch my etsy shop i did figure out when i'm going to launch it i don't have a set set date but i forgot that i ended up canceling my p.o box so i'm not going to relaunch my etsy shop until i get a new p.o box and i want to pay my p.o box off for the year so i'm just going to skip back because i created this envelope this is an old one i didn't think about that when i ordered these so i did create um this is an old one this envelope it was in my old business binder and the goal is going to be for 260 dollars and that will be the average of the year um how much money i will need to be able to pay for my PO box for the full year and once i'm did once i do that i can't even talk that is when i'll be ready to launch my etsy shop so in the meantime i'm just going to be working on products working on inventory so i think it's going to give more to that um november time frame when my etsy shop will be ready to um come up so i'm super duper excited about that can't wait but to go into this the first envelope that i have here is canva pro i do use canva pro not only for this channel for my business but for my other channel me and canva pro be going together real bad okay so <laughs> i had to make sure i did this the yearly subscription is 120 dollars you said was what it was last year i don't know if it went up or not this bill is due in february so um i put a goal of 120 dollars um i know y'all can't see that i put a goal of 120 dollars to be able to fully fund i move this up here for you guys to be able to fully fund this one shipping um sometimes i've noticed i'm still trying to get the hang of shipping especially when i start when i was shipping like um different places the rate that i would put for the shipping inside of etsy when actually it came time to ship would be either a little bit more or something like that so i want to start having like a bucket of money just in case you know i mischarge for shipping while i'm still getting the hang of trying to figure it out um so i put a goal of a hundred dollars i think just having a flat hundred dollars in here at all times is pretty good especially since my shot will be new um i think that would be good hp inc i am going to try to pay this for the year i want to fully fund it so it'll be 84 dollars. it's seven dollars a month um so i still pay it monthly but i wanted to start coming out of this like my business funding and stuff like that and out of this envelope rather than like my paychecks savings this is for business savings i'm my first goal is 1k every time i hit a thousand in here i'm gonna pull this money out and put it in 
a bank account for my business so eventually you'll see it eventually i want to get an llc have a whole website get a whole bank account for it you'll see more envelopes come as that stage in life happens but yeah so for now once i hit a thousand that goes out and it's in the bank account for the business paycheck this is what i'm going to pay myself and it's going to be a percentage i think like 10 percent of every check i think i might put in here and then once i hit 500 dollars in my paycheck envelope i will pay myself um from my business so that is my goal llc is so that way i can get an llc for my business and create a website and do all the things and just grow 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 because i'm super excited and speaking of grow i have investments i didn't really put a goal for investments it just depends um i think as i find different things that i want or just for future investments so money just going to come in here i'm thinking like a certain percentage of what i make is going to go into this envelope every time i get paid this is for inventory it doesn't have a goal it just depends on what i have to buy but i do want to constantly make sure I'm also putting money into this envelope just so that I, if I need something, I need to order something, I'm not trying to like scramble or f find money in other envelopes or paychecks to be able to re-up on any inventory that I need. Equipment, um, I actually need a new camera so this is going to be for a camera. Um, this camera that I'm filming on right now, girl, she is on her last leg. I promise you she is on her last leg. So I do need a new camera so I need to start saving up for that. And then taxes, I don't have a goal for this, but I did decide to split it up between Etsy taxes and YouTube taxes because my channel is monetized. I don't make much money off of YouTube, but um, hopefully that changes. Maybe the Lord will bless me and <laughs> that changes and YouTube can become a source of income for me as well. But we'll see when that happens. So I did split it for now just so that I could see what the two are, um, even though they're kind of small. I, my mind felt like I needed to split it, but it's all going to go into this one envelope and it would go all into the same like bucket of money in the bank account. So that is taxes and that is my business binder. I am so obsessed with it. I think it is literally so stinking cute and I really can't wait to just get in, get started. I, I when I tell y'all, I am so pumped, so amped. To get started cash stuffing i can't wait until i'm able to like i'm like girl i can't wait to get back because i've missed it so much and then the next binder is my future binder and i know y'all see these adorable envelopes in here i know y'all look at this so this is from divinely me llc on etsy she has these hello kitty matte vellum um envelopes they oh they're so cute to me i'm so geeked over these envelopes it don't make no sense i have never seen an envelope like this before on etsy so when i saw these i was like yeah add it to the cart add it to the cart they have to go into my collection and i um just wanted to support and so these are going to be my future envelopes so they're only going to get stuff technically two dollars because i'm paid bi-weekly but they're going to get one dollar a week if you will so two dollars um every time i get paid is how much is going to go into so twenty dollars a week i mean every paycheck um is what's going to go in here so my categories is ayana which is myself husband that's for my future husband I'm kind of sad that I didn't capitalize that. She did it the exact way I put it on, like, the the notes. And I kind of wish I would have, like, thought about it and capitalized certain letters. But it's fine. She did Ayana. She did Husband. Wedding. Honeymoon. And this is for stuff way far down the line. Um, me and my boyfriend have recently got together, so... Some of this stuff is not about to happen anytime soon. I'm not engaged or anything like that. But um, I can't wait for those things. So it's just something to just mindlessly put aside. And then when that time comes, who knows how much money could already be saved in these categories. Um, baby, house. I actually really want to get a townhome. But this would be for like my first house with my husband. So that's what this would be. Not for like my first house by myself. Uh, travel. And this is like family travel, like future travel. Fur baby, new whip, and then a rainy day. I did that in there. So 
I'm literally so geeked and I did a rainy day I don't know my mind just felt like you never know what's gonna happen in the future so I thought it'd be cool just to have a rainy day envelope and then depending on when I decide to make these actual like categories priorities if that makes sense then I can decide what I want to do with that or whatever but yeah I am obsessed y'all I am so obsessed with these envelopes with these binders I'm half tempted though to switch um this binder I don't know it's super cute but I feel like I should probably have something that's pink or red I don't know you guys let me know in the comments should I change the binder to match the envelopes a little bit better or y'all think it's fine but I don't know it's so cute though I'm thinking about it I'm pondering on it so I do still have a couple of more stuff coming in the mail and as those come in I will more um more than graciously show you guys them when they come in so I'm super duper excited I hope you guys enjoyed this video I know that it was super duper quick um I didn't want to make it too too long especially since it's just a happy mail video but like I said I do have some other stuff coming in that I can't wait to share with you guys um, and I was going to like combine this with other videos, but it'll be okay. It'll be okay. So I'm really excited. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.